Evaluating digital information is a skill that users of the internet struggle to complete with accuracy. One of the ways to get better at this skill is to understand what needs to be evaluated when choosing and using an appropriate website. The information that should be evaluated includes the following. The author, the publisher, the date of publication, bias, the evidence used, the accuracy of the information, as well as the links going to and from a website. Today we will be focusing on bias. Bias is defined as a prejudice in favor of or against someone or something. Detecting bias is important so you, the user, can make sure the information you are obtaining from a site is accurate and not one-sided. In order to assist you in learning how to detect bias, we will be using the practice module provided by the 21st Century Information Fluency website. This site will provide us with articles and the criteria to use when evaluating. And that criteria includes exaggerated language, unbalanced info, prejudice, product sales, and of course my emotional response to the information. So let's take a look at what this practice module has to offer us. As you can see, it's about bias, it's interactive, and we get to go ahead and click on one of these links to try out our bias detection skills. So we start here with the truth about Martin Luther King Jr. When we get here, it asks us to read an excerpt from this article for bias and then use the scale below to rate it. So we click here, already looking at the title. I'm a little concerned that there may be some bias. As we read, we can see there are words such as spastic frenzy, which is concerning. It talks about how Martin Luther King Jr. has even had a national holiday declared in his honor, an honor accorded to no other American, not even to the presidents. And therefore, we're going to take a look at what we're being asked to do. And does it have exaggerated language? Well, as we pointed out, there were some words in there that I feel were definitely elevated. Let's submit and see how we do. It looks as though we are correct because there is the use of the words beast, spastic frenzy, so-called liberal, plastic god. Unbalanced information is also elevated. And as you can see, we are correct because it is very biased against Martha, Martin Luther King Jr. As a result of this, I would definitely say that it is prejudice. As for product sales, I did not see them endorsing anything, so I would go with none. And my emotional response to this may often be elevated because of what's being stated and the clear evidence of prejudice. We are correct, and we scored a total of 8 out of the 8 points. It is time to go back to our menu. We'll take a look at Meet Charlotte's Webb's Wilbur. Again, we're going to be asked to read. We pull it up. We read about Charlotte Webb being a timeless tale of a pig named Wilbur who lives on Zuckerman's farm with a host of animal friends. Life is pretty sweet for Wilbur until he discovers that he'll soon be sold and turned into someone's dinner. Then it goes on and talks about pigs being put into factory farms. It goes on about Fern, another main character in the story. And then it goes on to say we are super excited that Paramount Pictures are turning this into a full-length feature film. And they are excited to hear that all the pigs are being sent to sanctuaries where they will live out their days in peace and won't be turned into food. So we can see that they clearly don't like the idea of pigs being turned into food, which makes me think that there is a hint of bias in this article. So as for exaggerated language, there are some things that indicate that it may be it's not as elevated as our last article, so I'm going to go with moderate. And we can see that yes, like all pigs in factory farms turned into food, clearly indicates a moderate level of exaggerated language. 
Continuing on, we're going to also click moderate for the unbalanced information. Because there is information that's weighted in favor of animal rights, but the other point of view is there as well. As for prejudice, well that's elevated because they clearly don't want pigs to be used for food. Product sales, we're also going to go with elevated because they are endorsing the film for Paramount. And as for my emotional response, I'm going to go with moderate. And we can see we also scored the 8 out of 8. We can go back to the menu. We can see there are two more articles of which I would like you to experience on your own to go ahead and check how you do. When you're done, you can go to show my final scores to see how well you are doing with each of these skills. Good luck and be careful when you are detecting bias in your work. Please remember to thoroughly evaluate the information you use so you will not encounter unwanted bias in your work.